I'd, I'd really refer to you, the ambassador to Cameroon, to speak for the response of the U.S. government in his country. But, you know, we still have partnerships with um, the, the Cameroonian military that have been very effective. Uh, they've been very good partners, um, and f we will continue those relationships for some time. They are also committing uh, human rights abuses. They are, uh, for example, allegations that they are killing people in Anglophone region. Um, how do you feel when you support the military that commit such crimes? Well, we certainly take very seriously any allegations of human rights violations by any of our partner militaries or security forces. And we expect those allegations to be investigated and appropriate action to be taken against any, any of those who conduct human rights violations. We, as a military activity, ensure that the forces that we work with, first of all, have no credible accusations of human rights violations as a matter of U.S. law. And when we do train with um, partner nations anywhere in Africa or anywhere else in the world, we conduct human rights training and training in the law of armed conflict as a matter of course and ensure that our partner forces don't conduct human rights violations.